Hey guys, today we're going to go over a tactical modification I did to provide Sigma art lenses with hard stops, or rather fake hard stops, for automated follow focus mapping such as that of the Tilta Nucleus Nano Motors. So as many of you know, there are some really excellent high quality photo lenses out there, such as the Sigma Art series, that feature great glass, the same optics that you'll get from their respective Sigma Cinema counterparts, confirmed by Sigma Corp itself. That is some pretty awesome quality glass for $700 lenses. But, as we expected with most, if not all, photography lenses, Sigma Arts tend to suffer a rather short focus throw, arguably some of the worst I've ever come across, along with bearing no hard stops. So how to get around this? Easy! Sell them, or just don't ever buy them if you haven't already, and take them alone, sell your car, house, refrigerator, or soul, and you'll be set to snag the $4,000 Cine versions. All sounds good and fun, right? Wrong. Don't sell your soul. Screw that! Keep your Sigma Art lenses, and grab yourself some seamless follow focus gears from followfocusgears.com to prep your lenses for follow focus motors. Then, pick out a good follow focus solution, such as again, the Tilta Nucleus Nano, and finally, a hot glue gun. Make sure it's pink, fellas. It tells ladies you're secure in your manhood. They like that. Once you get all these essentials, you'll first want to slide your focus gears onto your lens, turn and set the focus ring to its starting point, and then form a wall of hot glue right along the starting point on your gear. Then. Rotate the ring to the end point, but form a new wall of hot glue several teeth past the end point. You want both of these walls of hot glue to be a little further out than the start and end points. This will allow your focus motor to further turn your focus ring all the way back and forth between the start and end points on your focus ring, and it will go past them just a little bit, and that's perfectly fine. They will self-correct anyways as soon as you shift directions as seen. So now, whenever I swap one of these lenses in during a shoot, I can simply run Tilta's one button press and hold mapping solution and it'll map for me within seconds. No more manual mapping with Tilta's flawed manual mapping procedure. And there we go. It is done. Now more quickly and easily than ever, you can map any photo lens to take full advantage of the massively expanded 170 degree focus throw of the Nucleus hand wheel or other brands, giving you smooth, easy rack focus pulls. Not that rack focusing can't be done with photo lenses without that, but, you know, If you enjoy what we do, I invite you to subscribe, click all on the notification bell, even though we all know it's a lie. Better yet, join the rebellion against our abusive YouTube overlords, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, MeWe, etc. Just join us. We have cookies.